Hello. Welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug and today we're going to go over how to memorize reports in QuickBooks. Uh, a nice feature that QuickBooks has that allows you to memorize reports, basically save them, um, whether it's because you've done a lot of customization to them and you don't want to have to go through that customization process every time you use that report, you can save it so it'll, it'll keep all those customized characteristics in place or whether you want to save them all into one place in a, a specific folder or something because they're reports that you use frequently and you want to be able to go to one place to access them at one time. Uh, the function you use is called memorizing the report. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to go into the profit and loss by class. Now this particular company they have created classes for design, landscape, maintenance, and overhead. And then they have some unclassified transactions here as well. So let's say this is a report that I use um, every month. <clears throat> so I want to save it and I want to put it in a specific place that I know where it is every month. So we're going to hit memorize. It's going to ask you to give a name to the report. Um, in this case I'm happy with the, the title profit and loss by class. But I want to save it into a specific report group that I'd already created. These Some of these report groups are already here but I created one called my reports. So I know that I can go to that folder anytime I want to look up my reports that I use. Um, hit OK. Now if I go up here to Reports, Memorize Reports, and look into the My Report group, and there it is. That's the Profit and Loss by Class report that I just saved. Now let's say I want to customize this a little bit more, and I want to create a report that uh, only shows me the Design class. What I'll go into is Customize Report. Go into the Filters. I'll look for the Class filter. Right now it's showing all classes. I'm going to change it to only the design class. Hit OK. Now it's only showing me the design class. Now I want to save this because uh, this is a report that I'll look at every month as well. So I'll hit memorize. I don't want to replace the one I already did so I'm going to create a new one. And this time I'm going to call it profit and loss by class design. So now that I'll know when I see the report name I'll know this one shows me just the design class. Uh, again, I'm going to put it in My Reports, hit OK. Now if I go into Reports, Memorize Reports, and My Reports, there are the two reports that I just saved. Uh, you can also go into the Memorize Report list right up here, and it's going to show you all of these Memorize Reports in a list format. So here's the folder of My Reports, or the heading of My Reports, and the two reports that I saved underneath it. Another great little feature is if I click display or print it's going to bring up a little window here it shows me all the reports that are in that report folder and I can click or unclick any one of these put in the date range for each report and then I can display or print all of them at one time so that's a great feature a great way if you, if you uh, want to put you can put all kinds of reports in. you can put your balance sheet in here you can put payables receivables reports in here um, say this is a group of reports that you need to print every month you can go and do this all in one place at one time so I hope this was helpful. Uh, I think it is a helpful feature for those of us who use the same reports every month. Um, learn how to memorize reports. Thank you for your time.